Kia ora, this is just a quick video um, in a series I'm making about how to make a digital escape room. Um, this involves um, embedding different clue types into a uh, Google site. Um, so I've got a, a My Maps, which I've drawn on here. I've got a slideshow, I've got video, I've got image puzzles, and then you're using a Google form to submit the answers. And the Google form, um, the Google form only validate certain answers so that you have to get all your codes right to escape this digital escape room. Um, I just thought I'd run through some example puzzles you might do um, that some of my students have done. One of them is to use, um, in Google Drive you have um, lots of apps including Google My Maps which is your copy of Google Maps which you can draw on. So my students are sort of um, doing like an eight place um, jump around the world puzzle where it tells you where to go next and you have to find that clue and then you click on that for the label to, of where to go next um, and then after you've done eight of those um, the eighth one gives you the map code. Um, some students have pushed this even further and gone to a street view version where you get addresses to certain street views and you have to actually look around the street for the letter that's on the post box or, or whatever the clue might be. So flying around the world for eight of those to collect your code is one option for a puzzle that you can embed into the Google site. Another option is to embed some slides that do a puzzle based on something like a movie name. So here I have Birds of Prey, and by flicking through those slides on the Google sites, they get another clue or a code. Obviously Birds of Prey is pretty easy, but you might want to try a, a more complicated phrase. Um, but that's another option for a puzzle. Um, this is another slideshow I did where I actually made objects like the black square on the back here actually links um, to uh, the same slide, meaning they can't click through the slides just by clicking and they actually have to click on the numbers which also either link to the same slide or they go to the next slide that you want them to. So this way, this only by clicking the number two will it progress onto the next slide and give the impression that you've just got rid of that. So on every slide there's a black square that links to the same slide, meaning they can't go anywhere unless they click the right numbers, and that order sequence becomes another code, um, another code that they have to enter to escape the room. Um, another idea would be that you, the students made a video in, um, of around the school, you do a school tour, and the clue on the website says that every 30 seconds you have to put the first letter of the object that's on the screen. So they do, do like a, a school tour as a, another, another clue. Um, and then to get really advanced, I realized that in the Google Sites, you can, of course, use the embed button here to embed any um, kind of um, object um, that's embeddable. And that includes Scratch um, games. So one student made a, a puzzle using Scratch, and that's quite easy because with fairly low-level basic coding, you can send, um, get objects to spin and, and do all sorts of things in Scratch, and then embed that as another clue on your, on your Google site that has to be answered to be entered into the Google form to escape the room. So, um, so that's just some ideas um, of, uh, of the sort of clues you can have in your digital escape room that all have to be entered correctly to escape. I hope that helps. Kia ora.